Alright, what's going on traders? Uh, here's a video on how I configured my DOS Trader um, Pro software platform to be like this. I'm making this video from the request of one of my one of my viewers and um, he wanted to know how I got my 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 screen like this. And so here I have a, a blank tab and then also my default one. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I set mine up and how I like it. So start off with a with a blank a blank template. Then you're gonna go to where is it? Trade or uh, chart. Here we go. So it's gonna be on quotes and then chart. Um, I'm just gonna size them. I like to do make make them like a a third of the screen size so in this case just line them up right here with the lines like that and I think you can duplicate no you can't but um so get them about a third of the size that would be perfect and then just move them in place and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing for the second chart just get another chart and this time you can just lay it over the first one and just get the width. There you go. And then bring it over here. And drag that bad boy all the way down. And there you go. So you have your two charts. Um, these could be whatever you want. I just, I don't even really look at them, really, because I have my finger swim charts on my other monitors, my other two monitors, my left and right monitor. So these charts are mainly just to show my executions, and um, I don't know, just a different, a different, another another chart basically, I guess. Other than that, yeah, that's really it for the charts. That's all I do for them. And then, so let's see, we have we have the the accounts, your accounts. So you're gonna go to I believe trade and your accounts. And there you go. It'll just be plotted. If it's not plotted, um, like just like this, you'll just literally drag it and pull it into the middle like that. That's really it. I also like to. You can take off the 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 title bar, and so if you if you if you, if you keep it on, it'll have the account. But if you take it off, no title bar. It just takes it away and gives you a little bit more uh, screen or a little bit more uh, room for your whatever you have to be displayed. So now that you have your accounts up, you're going to want to have your your the trades that you're in. So your your positions, and you just add that and it'll, it'll just go right under there. Like I said, if it's not already placed automatically right here, you'll just drag it right under your your accounts and resize it to make sure it fits perfectly like this and after that you're going to have your orders um, I honestly I think I'm, I should um I'm gonna switch them yeah I like I think I'm, this would be better like this swap them like that because you have to place your order first and then you get into the position so I kind of like that better actually so yeah I'm gonna change that around so so here you'll have your this second one will be your order, so when you place an order for a trade, like if you want to go short, you'll, it'll be it'll show right here. And then this one, once you're in the trade, it'll show how much you've made, that you're in the trade, what your average cost was, etc. And so after that, then this is where you get to the level two, your montage. So just set it up like that. Get two of them in there. Perfect. And just like that. Boom. There you go. So you got your two level twos. And um, I like to, or you have to, sync them for that. For th this chart, or this montage, the left one for the left chart, and the right one for the right chart. So let's say I bring up Apple. Apple will be on this montage and on this chart. Let's say I bring up Roku. Roku will be on this montage and this chart. So that's, that's it for the montages. 
then you want to get your level your not your level two your time in cells your time in cells uh, quotes time in cells you want two of these bad boys you shrink these because you only need the price and the quantity remember let's take the title bars off time to sell Title bar, and I take the title bar off for all this stuff. Everything. You see mine? Whoa. I guess I took it off on here too. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, there's your time of sales. And lastly, I'll, I have a, as you can see on mine, I have a watch list. Like, right here, you can really put anything. I have a watch list and my clock. So market viewer. Just get a watch list in here. Boom boom boom. Boom boom like that. And uh, yeah, and then you put your clock. Where's your clock? Where's your clock? Where's your clock? Um, here we go. Market clock and you just mess around with it it's kind of weird the way it, like oh no there you go and i, I change the color text color um, i think i have it white and then the background like a gray no i don't have that he has a black uh, I have a black background with the gray lettering but yeah guys that's really it that's how you do this for that's how you get up my my setup for the dash trader pro really simple nothing too complicated you know, I like to keep things simple just like my trading and, um, yeah I do use this simply for really this uh, to place my orders um, and I use all my charts are off the thinkorswim platform so i re highly recommend if you don't have that already to get the program or the software because it's a very nice charting platform and one that i recommend highly so yeah um, that's it that's really it so if you guys have any more questions let me know i'll be happy to answer uh, thank you all for watching guys and uh, y'all have a great day